So now let's talk about ternary operator. So now we already know how to work with if and else. So we have an example here in which we have variable i which is equal to 1 and we have j which is equal to 0. So we are applying a condition which is if i is equal to equal to 1, we'll assign a value to j as 5, else we'll assign a value to j as 6, right? Now since the value of i is 1, it will, it will, it will give you the result which is 1, which is a true value. So this will execute. So the value of j will be 5. And then you are, when you run this, the output will be 5, right? So let's run this. And here we go. We got the output as 5. Simple. Now, uh, we can replace this statement here. So we can provide a comment there. And we can replace this statement with the help of ternary operator. Now, how to use ternary operator? Ternary operator works with this syntax, which is called as question mark and colon. So we have to provide a condition here. So if th there will be a condition. So if that condition is true, if that, that condition evaluates to true, it will execute the part after question mark. So let's say this is expression one. Otherwise, if the condition is false, if, it, it, if this condition returns false, it will execute expression two. So let's implement this here. So the condition we are working on is i equal to equal to one. So we'll say j equal to, that is condition is i equal to equal to 1, that's your condition. If this is true, then the value of j will be 5, otherwise the value of j will be 6. Simple, right? And now if you run this, you got 5. But let's change the value of i, let's make it 2. Now if I run this, the value will be 6. It's because the condition is false. So it will, not it will not take this value, it will take this value of the colon. So this thing here is called as ternary operator. So that's it.